Uh, all right, guys. I had this idea. Well, I saw this guy making caramel on uh, YouTube by just putting sugar into a into a pan and then cooking it, heating it up until it like browns and melts and whatever. And then he double boiled chocolate to uh, I guess that's how you melt chocolate or whatever to do it right. So I'm thinking I I had a question and I I don't know the answer. What happens if you double boil sugar? So that's that's what I'm gonna try to do today. So these are the things I'm using, uh, sugar, a, a bully bowl, and, and a penny pot. So you put some water in your penny pot, then you put your bully bowl on top of your penny pot, and then, then your sugar inside. And then you put this on your dirty old stove, just like this. And then the water heats up, the sugar is evenly heated because uh, of surface tension. In practice, this goes uh, something like this. I definitely have never, 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 never double boiled before, so I don't know how much water to use. Are you supposed to put this on here and let the steam come up the sides to double boil, or should the water be touching the sides? My water is just touching the bottom, and then we'll have, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll do, we'll do a little mix. And now for the coupe de gras, we need the sugar. I think that's enough. We have like, mm, we'll, we'll do some more just just for uh, thrill, thrills and spills. So what do you think? Should we let the water boil first and then put this on top or turn it on and uh, do everything at once? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this boil first and then put this on top. All right, guys, I say that's about uh, as boily as boily water can get. So let's put the sugar on top. Oh yeah, that, that that's good right there. Uh, time, time lapse? I don't know how to do those. Let's just, uh, let's just fast forward. <laughs> Set up a tripod, but I got this mess going on here too. Oh my God, this is, this is a disaster. All right, hopefully this is better. I turned down the water a bit. I'm also using this spoon, an old spoon, in case I ruin it and the sugar sticks to it and I'm, I can throw this out. I don't know what to do about the bowl though. I definitely don't want to throw this out, it's my only one. And this steam is hot. I think I need a glove because this steam is going right under my hand. Craftsmen, for the men who like crafts and doilies and, and stuff. And it's also about 3, 310. So let's see what, what happens here. It's been about five minutes in total and nothing's happened at all. So I kind of spread the sugar out above like across the sides of the bowl to give it more surface area and uh to for the heat to get to so hopefully that speeds things up and yeah it's really really steaming here i don't want like a super ton amount of footage so i'm just gonna come back when i see something happening all right so what's happening is this sugar it it's like a little bit warm but it's nowhere near like what I would say like melting sugar temperature or whatever. What I'm gonna do is dump out, and, and it's only been an, an additional five minutes, so uh, maybe like 15, 10 to 15 minutes in total. Maybe I should wait longer, but also I'm gonna dump out some of the sugar because we might just have way too much in here. So now we have like significantly less sugar. I'll show you how much I dumped out. I dumped out all that, so probably about mm, eight pounds of sugar. I also added more water, which maybe uh, was a bad idea, or or a good idea. It was an idea. Again, this this sugar is like warm, but not really close to melting. Also, I do think, and I'm trying not to let this happen, 
is that uh, some of the water is coming down into the sugar and I don't want to confuse, ooh steamy, I don't want to confuse melting sugar with dissolved sugar if there's water getting in here. So I'm being kind of careful to not let water cut it get, it get in there. But I'm not exactly sure how to stop that from happening. So I, I don't think there's much I could do about it. If it gets in there, it gets in there. J just letting you guys know. All right, I'm gonna not touch this for say, uh, it's 25 after now. So let's say 10 minutes. And I don't think anything's gonna change with this because the sugar is still the same temperature that, that it's been like, I can kind of like even kinda ish touch the bottom of the bowl. So I think that's just as, as hot as it's gonna get and nothing's gonna happen. So like one, one of the reasons when you make caramel, caramel, caram, car, caramel, I'm, I'm the same color as these cabinets. Boy tan, you know? Uh, yeah, when you make like caramel, car, car, ugh, when, you, when you make this stuff, there it's like very temperamental and you could like burn it uh, just by like a split second of like heating it too much or whatever. So you have to be really careful when you caramelize sugar. So, but, uh, and that's the same with like chocolate too, I guess, because chocolate has sugar in it. So that's why you double boil chocolate to make it uh, not melt as, uh, to yeah, to make it melt at a lower temperature or whatever. But, so that's what I was thinking with sugar. You could like, uh, you could do the same thing with sugar. So then your caramel would be less temperamental and whatever. You know what I'm saying, I don't, I hate talking. Why, why have a camera if I hate talking? Uh, but, but yeah, but yeah, it, it just doesn't work. Alrighty, adio. It's been 10 minutes and I give up on this stuff. It does nothing except fog my camera up. Does nothing except fog my camera up. It's still the same, still sugary, sugary mess, sugary mess. Well, it's not a mess, it's just sugar, the same as it's ever been, same as it ever was. Alright guys, yeah, the, the, that is the, it for this, uh, uh, that, that's it for this uh, project. If you want any, uh, me double boil stuff again, other stuff you want me to try, you know what I'm saying. If you want me to double boil stuff get, and ideas, leave a comment uh, right here in the sugar, uh, well, I guess in the comment section would be a better place to do it. But yeah, let's go, go out and steam.